hello friends welcome to this new video on mongodb video tutorial series this is in continuation with previous videos on topic mongodb indexes how indexes have been used in mongodb collections or database so far we have discussed about what is mongodb index how they play a role in improving the performance right and what kind of indexes are there in this video i am going to touch upon indexes properties primarily how many types of indexes right like we might have unique indexes we might have some other kind of indexes that we are going to see in this video so properties may basically means that in how many ways we can create different kind of indexes right so first of all is ttl indexes the full form is time to live indexes so basically it is used for collections like which are going to expire after a certain period of time you can think of a scenario like logs right we might need a log for maybe one day two days seven days two weeks three weeks four weeks time right so that way this kind of index is useful basically so syntax is same like the collection name create index created at one expire after second 3600 seconds right it is going to expire after one hour right then we have unique indexes it helps to retain unique values for a field with this index right so again on which field we want to create an index right ascending or descending and then unique true now what does this mean so we cannot have duplicate values of student id right we can have only one value of student id as null but no more null values for student id field that is the advantage of having unique indexes by default underscore id is the unique index in mongodb right then partial indexes this is again very useful in case we want to filter out on some field and we want to fasten the search right then we can use this kind of indexes right for example we want to have partial index created on student id right in ascending order and we also want to create an index on the other field with filter expression right this is a syntax partial filter expression personal details dot age equal to 18 it can be greater than equal to it can be less than equal to right there can be other parameters also so only those fields which are matching with this criteria right will be having an index so in case we run a query based upon this parameter where student id as well as personal detail dot age is there so this index will be used then hidden indexes this is included in mongodb version 4.4 .4, right the biggest advantage of this is that in case you have an index and you want to know that the what is the impact in case you want to remove that index then without actually removing that right so this index can be hidden from the query planner so the output will not reflect right that this is an index so you can come to know the impact of dropping this index whether dropping this index helps you in some way or not right or it deteriorates your performance of the collection then you may not want to remove that index right then sparse index in some sense it is equal to partial indexes but no it does not index documents that do not have the indexed field so it is different from unique indexes it is different from partial indexes also to some extent right so it will not index any document right which does not have any indexed field for example so if any document right 
of this address is collection personal details dot sibling is not having that field then it will not be indexed right so that is the meaning of this now let us look at the hands on part of this so if we look at from the previous example let us see how many indexes we have get indexes it shows us that we have one two three and four these are the type of indexes keys in involved in these indexes now let us create a new index this is how we can create a unique index so it says that index with this name already exists so we cannot create this index right so we will have to remove this index first then only we can create this index but the point is by giving this option you can create a index over this same way you can create other type of indexes also so with this i would like to stop here and i would create a new video wherein we will cover other topics of indexes like what are the strategies which can be used to enhance the performance of indexes right so those will be discussed in coming videos and also we will see index operations like get indexes dropping an index right all those operations we will see in coming videos so please stay tuned till the further videos right so i hope you have been liking my videos please share these videos as much as you can so see you in future videos thank you so much for watching this video